Hey guys, Rich here with Revitron. Well, I wanted to make this quick video. Um, this is kind of an informal, not very funny, not very creative way of just doing like a uh, educational, instructional, instructional video type thing. Okay, if you don't know, I have a channel called Rich Reviews where I've done uh, a number of Halo and Transformers reviews, not to mention stuff I did on my other channels and everything. So I've done quite a few reviews, and I've experimented with a lot of different ways of uh, doing those reviews, verifying information, trying to figure out what works and everything like that. So I wanted to pass on some information to some of the newer people who are making reviews, and uh, to kind of help them get started if they're interested in submitting content to their own channels, and then also back to Revitron once they've completed some work. Alright, so there are a couple of things you absolutely do want to cover when you're doing reviews. The first is that you're going to want a tripod. Um, a, a, I've seen a good number of reviews of new people where they're holding a, a iPod or a flip cam or a cell phone and you know everything's doing this when they're trying to show something. Um, more often than not nobody really wants to watch that and in fact they'll probably get kind of dizzy because everything's moving around so fast they can't really focus on the subject which is if you're watching this video, it's going to be a toy. So if you're trying to show a toy, get the thing, your camera mounted. If you can't get it mounted, um, set it on something where it has a good angle of the figure or the toy set or whatever. But basically, get the camera to a place where it's not going to move too much. I mean, sometimes you can pick it up or you can bring the toy closer to it to focus on certain details. But you still want to be sure that the camera itself isn't shaking all over the place, kind of like it is right now while I'm doing this video freehand. Um, the second thing... Um, Whatever you're trying to, make sure the background is clean. Um, because when you have a figure and you got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background, either stuff's moving, your body's in it, because uh, some people will show themselves while they're doing the review or whatever, that kind of, it can cause a distraction for the viewer. So be sure to eliminate as many things out of the background as possible. Um, now, some people like to keep their stuff cluttered, and it works for them. You know, they'll still get thousands of subscribers. Other people, they keep it absolutely pristine. Like, the only thing in it is, like, a background and the figure and then the person's hands. That's generally how I do it, but it's totally up to you. Play around with it and figure out what works for you, what gets you more views, because uh, depending on the audience you're reaching, maybe they're more accepting of stuff in the background, um, and then other audiences will be used to having very clean backgrounds. So you have to kind of figure out whatever it is for the toy line you're doing and the audience that there is here on YouTube. Not to mention what you're happy with. If you're happy with showing your dirty underwear in the background, I'm not going to say it's going to be really helpful for you getting a lot of views, but if you're happy with it, who cares? Um, another thing, um, try not to have a whole lot of dead space in the review. Because um, sometimes you watch a video and somebody's like, um... Uh, well, this thing, it does, uh, 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 yeah, the, the, the. generally speaking, now, when I do my reviews, and not, not saying mine are perfect, I have my own style of things, sometimes I'll, you know, I'll say, um, uh, you know, I'm thinking or whatever, but I'm trying to fill the space at the same time while I'm trying to figure out whatever it is, and if I can't figure it out in about five seconds, I just move on, because if you st sit there and try to figure something out or try to remember something you were going to say too much, really you should write notes. And in fact, when I first started doing reviews, I did write notes. I wrote down basic things I wanted to make sure I covered. And you know what? If I made a review and I thought it stunk, I threw it away and I started over. Uh, and I did that on a couple things, you know, six, seven, eight times till I got the review right. So I definitely recommend, if you're not going to really edit your videos too much just because you don't have the software, you don't have the time, you don't have the knowledge yet of how to edit, then don't be worried about restarting the review. And that depends on how serious you are about making a really good video. If you are if you don't really care, you just want to make a quick video to get two or three views, fine. But if you're looking to get a couple hundred or a couple thousand off your video, you're going to want to make sure you make the best content every single time that you possibly can. So those are three of the biggest things I can think of that would definitely help new people getting started um, and, and would definitely help in... Uh, you know, moving forward. So the three is uh, make notes so you kind of know what you're going to say. Two, make sure the background is pretty clean. And then three, try to keep your camera still as possible because, you know, generally speaking, people just don't want to see something shaking all over the place. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it down below and I'll do my best to answer some of those, um, depending on, <laughs> I don't know what people will ask. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps, like I said. And um, all right, guys, look forward to still seeing a bunch of more reviews and hopefully some reviews from brand new people starting out. And this video ended up helping them in some way. That'd be good. All right, guys, talk to you all later. All right, see you guys.